Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm going to be making my teriyaki chicken pineapple bowls. Yeah, so I've been seeing this video on um, Facebook and social media and I've been getting requests from people to make this dish. So that's what I'm about to do. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to start by seasoning the chicken because I want it to sit for at least like 10 minutes while we scoop out the pineapples. So I'm going to start by adding onions to this because it's all going to be sauteed together. So I might as well add it now. I'm also going to add some chopped fresh ginger. If you have fresh garlic, put it in there. Some paprika, some garlic powder. If you have fresh garlic, use it. And a tiny bit of salt. You don't want to overkill with salt because there's a lot of salt in the sauce. And um, yeah, some pepper. You don't even have to season this chicken to be honest. But um, I wanted to so that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> Mix this up and let it marinate while you work on your pineapples. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you the easiest way that I get this pineapple out of here. Um, FYI, the way I hold my knife, don't try this at home, um, especially if you're not used to using sharp knives. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my knife as if I'm holding a pencil or a pen. And I'm just going to go around this like this. Just be sure not to pierce the bottom of your pineapple. Just like that. <laughs> I hope y'all can see. I think y'all can see that. And then I'm going to take my knife and go across. Straight through the core and everything. Again, just try not to pierce the bottom. But it's not hard not to pierce the bottom because I, you, I actually feel it. Once I hit the bottom, I actually feel it. So just take your time until you make it all the way through. And that's it. And just keep running your knife around to make sure you really got around it. See, I didn't even get through that one little part. <laughs> okay, enough of that. So then you're going to take a spoon and you're just going to start carefully just trying to scoop all these slices out. And with a little give, they should just come right out like that. Put your elbow grease in it <laughs> and get it out. Okay, so my, that other spoon is breaking. I don't know what's going on with that. but So after a little elbow grease, <laughs> I finally got all the pineapple loose. You just got to keep like messing with it with a stronger spoon than I use. I don't know what I was thinking with a regular spoon, but yeah, and that's it. And it comes right out. So you're just going to pour the liquid out and scoop it out a little bit more and that'll be it. Okay guys, so my skillet is nice and hot. I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. And then I'm going to add all my chicken in here. By the way, I'm using boneless, skinless chicken breast. And you're just going to sear this off for about five minutes. And after I get a little color on it, I'm going to start adding all the other ingredients. Okay, so now I'm just going to stir it up. Yes. see that deep dark brown color I'm only going to make sure one side is completely brown because you don't want to overcook the chicken so that's what we're not going to do <laughs> alright so right in the middle you're going to add your brown sugar soy sauce your honey some pineapple from the pineapples we chopped up earlier <laughs> Then you're going to mix this up and let it reduce for about 10 minutes. And by that time, your chicken should be completely cooked. Remember, this is chicken breast. If you're using bone-in chicken, then you need to cook it a lot longer. And you also need to cover it for at least 20 to 30 minutes. But this is chicken breast, so you don't want to cook it forever. So this should be good in 10, for 10, 10 minutes or so. Or until your sauce reduces nice thick and syrupy and that's it <laughs> over here I have another hot skillet going I'm gonna saute my zucchini and I'm not gonna put much on my zucchini the only thing I'm putting on here is salt pepper and some ground ginger and I had a little bit of olive oil in the pan I don't want to put too much oil on this but I do want some color on it so yeah 
salt, pepper, and ground ginger. That's it. I just wanted y'all to see this really quick. <laughs> to see how delicious this looks and sticky and like an amber color. And by the way, the amount of soy and sugar, it might have looked like it was a lot, but it really wasn't. They all balance, balance each other out. And when you try it, don't be alarmed. You'll see for yourself when you taste it. It's super, super delicious. That ginger is coming through, honey. <laughs> so all ingredients and amounts will be listed below on my website. So be sure to check it out and try this recipe and let me know what's up. This is a zucchini. I charred it on all sides. And now I'm going to cut it off because I don't like mushy zucchini. So, by the way, you can substitute this for whatever vegetables you prefer or like. You don't have to eat this. But yeah. This is what the pineapple bowl looks like. I did put some steamed rice on the bottom. Just a little bit. You don't have to put it. You could just do all vegetables. And um, I have my corn right here. I'll put the recipe for my corn on my website which will also have the measurements for the chicken and everything else yeah so this is also perfect for valentine's day you guys so yeah make this for your boo <laughs> and um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe like share please subscribe please share with your friends and come back try my recipes i really appreciate all the support and i'll see you guys next time on my next video Okay guys, bye.